last week just to finish in. He's got to put it all together, James, and maybe he can tonight. Opening up the night's commentary, Rod Harrington and Stuart Pike. Yes, thanks, Dave. Another new hey, chapter, another new night. And a big night first. of darting history as the Premier League hits Holland for the first time. A sea of orange in Rotterdam. And both Thornton and Wade will want to finish with a flourish after a disappointing Premier League campaign. Incredible atmosphere. An amazing buzz here. We hope that... It's coming through your TV screens at home and you're getting a flavour of what tonight is all about. And that'll do for starters. Yes, it certainly will, Stu. And when we was on the stage, <coughs> me, Dave and Wayne, we had to have our ears wow. up full. The noise was so deafening, we could hardly hear each other standing, and we were standing next to each other. An incredible buzz in here this evening. And Robert Thornton, well, he's got into his stride nice and quick this evening and, and as Wayne said there's not a lot to play for but pride and professionalism will make these two perform and we've already had a 180 from each player in the very first leg well Topsy needs how about that 11 data what a leg to kick off the night and this is only the hors d'oeuvre We know what Robert Thornton can do, and he hasn't really produced it at all in the Premier League. Let's hope he can carry on with this first, this first leg. But you know that it's the consistency that what's let Thornton down, and, and that consistency that Wade has got. That's why I kind of feel that it will get Wade over the line. Well, Rod, all the way back on January the 20th, 2005, you and I were at the first ever Premier League night. The King's Hall in Stoke, the start of what's become an incredible journey, an amazing adventure. It was a sellout of 900 people. Who would have believed that 11 years later we are playing in front of huge crowds? And here in Holland, 10,000 sold out in a little over 40 minutes. That night, Phil Taylor beat Wayne Mardle, John Part and Colin Lloyd drew. Mark Dubridge beat Peter Manley, and then Taylor and Lloyd also had a 6-6 draw. We've come a long way since Stoke in 2005. 31. Yes, an incredible journey, an incredible story. And I would say 98% of the people here this evening are all in orange. It is a sea of orange. James Wade long way off and it's on his throw and I was just about to say he needs at least a ton so he's opened up the door for Thornton to break the throw he took out 100 very cleanly in the first leg double eight to do clean check out in the second well, it's a big ask for James Wade who's been feeling a little bit under the weather but that's perfect another one of those go on Wadey Fantastic! What a start! Welcome back to an amazing night here in Rotterdam. 10,000 fans and the opening match of the night, Robert Thornton against James Wade. All level after the opening two legs. This is now the third. Well, an incredible start from a game that has got really nothing on it. As we said only pride and professionalism, and certainly if there was any doubt whether these two were going to get up for it. Well, that doubt has been surely chucked down in the window. And I'm not kidding you, Stuart, when those players walked on stage, they must have stood there, have been on a lot of big stages and thought, I mean, it was daunting standing on that stage, intimidating. You could really Nine feel the seconds. noise hitting you. It just made the hairs on the back of your neck stand on end. Let's listen to that noise. 54. Well, incredibly, they could have sold this out, they reckon, three times over. 
if this venue had held 30,000, they would have sold it out. And they will get a chance next year because the Premier League will return to Rotterdam in 2017. It's been a long time coming, this first ever Premier League night in Holland. So far, <laughs> worth the wait. 64. Well, certainly. What's the test summer. case of taking an outside Great Britain? Well, now, Ken Thornton would sit on 160. It would have been too much to ask for, Stuart, wouldn't it? He said it's the first time outside of Great Britain, and certainly it works. The rest of Europe now could be a European league in a few years' time. A chance here for Thornton. Who said this match means now? They're giving it a real good go, these two. 37. He's going to have to look for those 19s to knock the odd wow. nine off, and he's hit the 137, so pressure on the tops. Now, Thornton, in his pomp, will certainly take this out and it's has done. Further. Holds on to his throw, and it's a 2 1 lead for Robert Thornton over James Wade. Uh, big features in all the Dutch national newspapers and wow. indeed regional newspapers over the last couple of days. This event, this night, is huge in Holland, it really is. Raymond van Barneveld against Peter Wright. And Gary Anderson against Adrian Lewis. And then a certain Mr van Gerwen. Against a certain Mr Taylor. The script was written perfectly, Stuart. Wow, Absolute man. perfect. <laughs> Who will have the final say? Who will write the penultimate chapter? The final chapter, of course, comes at the O2 in London next Thursday. 95. The question is, will be if Michael van Gerwen can hold his nerve, because 16. in front of the home crowd he'd be so wanting to win, he could just tighten up a little bit in the early legs, and if he does, I swear Taylor's got to punish him. A three to one, Phil Taylor. Six well, let's three. be honest, if, if anybody can beat Michael van Gerwen on this stage tonight, it would be Phil Taylor. And He's it, been around long enough to be able to hold the bottle. I think there'll be a little psychological really battle going on between the pair as well in the practice room, don't you? So you could get the, the better of each other before a dart is thrown. 60. Now Robert Thornton will have three darts to throw for a 101, treble 19. So Wade here. 69. Got to get this to hold throw. Yes, and he may only get a dart at the bullseye. He had a visit without a treble. So now it's the 18 for the bullseye. He's already taken out the 160. Can he take out the 88? Oh, no, that's 13. a long way off. So a chance here for Thornton to break the throw and take a two-leg lead. Twenty-four. Uh, Thornton has had darts. Oh, well, that's a poor dart, isn't it? Well, from, from 88, he gets just one dart and a proper double. He had a dart at the ball, and one dart's all it takes! A double ten, it's two all. But Thornton will be thinking he should be 4-0 up. Well, he should be. Leg two against a throw, two darts missed. And in that previous leg, three darts missed, so... All of a sudden, Wadey's thinking, well, happy days. Now let's start throwing some proper darts, but... At the moment, the machine is certainly not firing on all cylinders. And there we have it coming up. Peter Wright against Nine the big seasons. Dutchman, the five times world champion, Raymond Van Barneveld. That will lift the roof off. And then Adrian Lewis against the Premier League reigning champion, Gary Anderson. And Lewis has got a win there. And at the end of the night, Stuart. Well, the darts will do the talking. Michael Van Gerwen against Philip Taylor. Well, plenty of room. Interesting, interesting, you know, the pair 
have hit the least number of 180s in the entire Premier League. Thornton, 33, James Wade just one more. But really disappointed for Thornton, the whole Premier League experience, and I guess you can say the same for James Wade. Now, Thornton, if it does a well, hugely disappointed. Well, he could have been 4 0 up, and now he's facing. Going three, two down. Oh, his favourite double top now, Wadey. Plenty of room to the right of that dart, as we can see. And that's exactly what he's done. He's punished Thornton for his mistakes. And that's been the case of Thornton's Premier League, I'm afraid. Well, sometimes the stats give you a false picture. In the case of James Wade and Robert Thornton in their Premier League campaign, not. Before this match, Thornton had well only 57 legs in 15 well games. And the next worst was Wade on 75, so there's a big disparity there, but James Wade, one point from the last five matches in the business end. He was in a great Nine position seasons. after judgment night, James Wade, to qualify for the semi-finals, but... I'm afraid he's been the master of his own downfall. Well, Van Gerwen and Taylor, a point enough for Van Gerwen to finish top. Gary Anderson will finish third, whatever. Will he be playing Van Gerwen or Taylor in the semi-finals? A point should be enough uh, for Adrian Lewis. If Peter Wright beats Raven van Barneveld, the pressure will then be on Adrian Lewis against Gary Anderson. Thornton will finish eighth. Barney will finish seventh, Wade will finish sixth. Number two for James Wade on the 180 count. And that really has set it up for him now to take a two leg lead. 44 to big four, and his favourite double top. Hit it cleanly in the previous leg for 80. Oh, and you see it, that was in the same hole from the second leg, I believe, when he hit the double ten. And now it's Wade, 4-2 up. Well, James Wade has won the last four games in the Premier League against Robert Thornton. The Scot shaking his head, you can see there, just behind James Wade. At the moment, Wade on his way to a fifth straight win over the Scot. We shall see. 82. Well, he started off with 11 data, and Robert Thornton of last year, when he beat Michael Van Gerwen in the Grand Prix, would have followed that up with a couple of real good legs. However, he's not done that, and he's let Wade in, and, and Wade is one of those players that just keeps plodding away, plodding away. Well, you, you mentioned the Grand Prix, of course. Robert Thornton and James Wade involved in one of the, the most historic and famous games in the history of darts at the World Grand Prix. Of course, double to start, they both hit nine darters in the same match. What a night that was. Well, Michael Van Gerwen missed the nine last week in Manchester. What a place to do it tonight. In front of his home crowd, 10,000 screaming, screaming Dutch fans. And if he beats Taylor, he does it with a nine data steal. Are we dreaming? Well, I, I would not put anything past Michael Van Gerwen. I really wouldn't. Astonishing talent. 137. And the best is yet to come, I'm sure. That is for sure as well. 137. Bowen Belt comes on this stage in the next game, it's going to be huge. But double top now for Thornton, and finally he's found the double. But it is only to hold his throw. Wade, all he's got to do is close the match out from here. A big smile on the face of Wade, and the end of the Premier League for these two. And I think for Robert Thornton, it's been a long road, and possibly will be glad to see the end of it. 16. It's tough. 15 weeks on the road yep. every Thursday. 
Well, they're, they're, they're compensated pretty well. Robert Thornton, you know, will pocket £40,000. James Wade will take home £50,000. Of course, Michael Van Gerwen and Phil Taylor later on also playing for a little matter of £25,000. A bonus to the man who wins the group stage. Do you honestly think they're thinking of it? No. no. No, absolutely not, not. 25,000 doesn't mean a thing to them it's winning the game it's the reputation the young gun against the old fella and, uh, the anticipation is, is incredible all around the stadium even the backroom staff here the talk is Van Gerwen Taylor 99 Thornton since he won the Grand Prix in Dublin in October. Of course, he beat Van Gerwen in the final, didn't he? It's been a real struggle for Robert Thornton since then. It really has. Well, no repeat of the 160 finish we saw from Wade in the second leg. But he's left it happy. Enjoying this, you know. Good game of darts. There may not be anything on it in terms of league positions, but it's a good start to the night's entertainment here in Rotterdam. Wade looking at tops. Five legs to three. James Wade leads Robert Thornton his first match at the Hoy Stadium here in Rotterdam. He's just brewing up nicely. To be fair to Robert Thornton. Could have been falling up if he had been, you know, probably marched on and closed the game out. But it's just been what Robert Thornton's game has been like, letting people off and then getting punished for it. And we say so often, that solid game that James Wade has. To, he has the knack of punishing people. I know he's lost a few just lately. He certainly... The 160 was the turning point, wasn't it? I mean, after fall to the it, missed darts for 2 0, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. he missed two darts at uh, eights and fours, and it really got the motor going for James Wade. Well, you know, Thornton will be desperate to have another crack at the Premier League next year, and more than anything, to prove a point to himself. We all know what a good player he is. Well, I'm right out. It was the first time that the Premier League this year has featured the genuine top ten players in the world. 92. A good last dart. Time to require 161. Wade will be hoping six darts from here. He's going to need it. Sixty-four. Two wild darts there. And perhaps Thornton will get six darts from here. That's the only number. <laughs> That really hurts him. Oh, mind you, he's going to set it up nicely. But Wade comes back. Treble 19 will leave him double top for another break of throw. Now the treble 18, which is hit. Double 12 for a 6 3 lead. Oh, beautifully done. Robert Thornton knew it was coming. We got a little shot of Thornton in the background as Wade's second dart slammed into the treble 18. He knew what was coming, we knew what was coming, and James Wade's throw for the match. 96. Yes, as we said, it's just the way Thornton's Premier League has been. To be fair to him, you know, he had that illness in the early part of it, then he hurt his ankle. However, there's no sympathy. You're not going to get a player sound, I feel sorry for it. Give you a couple of legs. No, they're going to hammer you if they can. Six In the practice room, these two were throwing checkouts against each other. But on the stage, they're enemies. James Wade, six out of nine on the doubles. Says it all, doesn't it? Well, he's at a 160. Then the 80, 60. which made it two legs apiece, and then that 97 to really get control. And you, you think that James Wade is not going to give this match up from here? 43. Robert Thornton, just two wins in 15 in the Premier League this season. It tells its own story. 
It's going to be two wins in the entire Premier League campaign. It's a sorry tale for the Scot in the Premier League of 2016. Well, James White's first match in Leeds was against Michael Van Gogh and, and he walked off the stage with a win. He did. He so he did. started off his Premier League absolutely perfectly, got Michael Van Gogh out of the way very early and that's what you need to do. And that remains Michael Van Gerwen's only defeat. 83. So Wade to complete a seventh win in the Premier League this year. Finishes with a flourish. Five darts for James Wade. A 70% checkout success rate. What a start to this historic night here in Holland. The Rotterdam crown loving the darts. Barney will not get a better reception anywhere at any time. Have a listen that. to this. Yeah, Have a listen, listen to, to it, Dave. It's incredible. will never, ever get better than that. No, it won't, Dave. A five-time champion, he's a legend. He's the granddad of darts, really, in Holland now. He, he, he's been put up front from way back in the, the mid-90s when he first won his uh, World Championship of the Lakeside. And, uh, I mean, that was incredible. But even Peter Wright got a very good reception. You know, they, they, there weren't any booing or anything. They're just here to watch a great game of darts. How can you throw a dart after that? Well, I don't know, Dave. I mean, we, we've got goosebumps here, and you can see the Peter Wright, the emotion in his face, his cheeks were pumped up and flushing in Peter Wright. But Peter Wright has got a lot of bottle. When you go down to the nitty-gritty of this game, he's got a lot of bottle. I think Peter Wright can handle it. Can Barney? It's hard to perform in front of your home crowd like this. Way more than Rod's to be commentators. Thanks, Dave. Well, let's face it, who would not want to be Raymond van Barneveld right now? Every man jack of this 10,000 crowd screaming his name. They've all come to see him play, they've all come to see him win. And Barney, in front of his adoring public, now has to deliver against a highly emotionally charged Peter Snakebite Wright. There was a, a tear in his eye as he strolled onto stage. What did you make of uh, what was going on up there, Wayne, just when the players were uh, throwing some practice darts? Was there a bit of a draft or something? Barney seemed to be indicating. Well, yeah, Robert Thornton That's and James Wade come off, and they said that there was a draft, and, and I clarified that with the referee of that game, Russ Bray, and they said that there was some kind of draft coming in from the right to the left-hand side. But that will not hopefully put these two off because the emotions like you just said rod absolutely incredible from both players peter wright clearly never experienced anything like it in his life and i'm expecting the cry of barney army to continue for the duration of this game 24. barney's just Got to control himself, get the adrenaline in check. It's been a real edgy start from both, which I've got to say, having stood up on, on that stage, it is an amazing 100. atmosphere. I think the best that we've ever, ever witnessed in any Premier League in any year. Well, the Rotterdam roof could come off with Barney. Fires in a maximum. Even one treble 20 was enough to get them out of their seats. Right, 175 when they last met in Newcastle. That was a game Barnabelt should have won. He controlled it from the get go. Then missed a raft of late doubles and right stole in. 44. Yeah, Barney will finish in seventh spot. There'd be no playoffs for him this year as Peter Wright looking for a 54 oh, go back for the treble 20 and gets it to leave double eight 
This is a nice little introduction for Peter, right? Barney. Hit in. Nothing. 45. Peter Uguay. Double eight then for the first leg for Snake Bites. Remember, in amongst all this cacophony of noise, has got a job to do in terms of trying to qualify for finals night at the O2, which is a week tonight. Those misses probably won't matter. But he needs to pick up at least a point to keep the dream alive, and really, he needs both points. But what he also needs to do is to keep the crowd quiet, because every big score that Barney hits, they're going to let Peter Wright know about it. And every miss that happens with this man, they're going to be vocal about it. He's got to keep them quiet. This has got to go in. Well, six darts missed at double the first three, probably wouldn't have mattered, but the next three might. And Barney now has a chance to steal, but must hit the treble 14, which he hasn't. He hasn't even hit the big 20 either, for that matter. For the first leg. Got to lose these first leg nerves, and he has. That was an absolute stinker of a leg, wasn't it? Game it was only a hold of throw, though, so no damage done. The crowd want to see Barney perform somewhere near his very, very best. Not that easy to do. He's clearly feeling some pressure. But it's this man that should be feeling it all. He's the one that needs the point or points. 121. Yeah, right, starting the night with 16 competition points. Adrian Lewis with 17. Lewis to play the world champion and defending Premier League champion Gary Anderson after this match. If Wright were to lose to Van Barneveld, Lewis would be through before he towed the hockey. Well, it's pretty evident who's playing slightly All better. Forget the scoreline. Barney only got down to a shot out because Peter Wright missed six darts at a double. At the moment, Barney's just releasing the dart 60. and throwing them with no authority or venom whatsoever. Is Barney just that tad more nervous than this man? 83. Van Barneveld's first 140, the first 140, highest score of the match. Well, that spark him. He leaves 101 after a dozen darts. Well, Peter right here is going to be right on his tail. Just to reiterate, to keep his hopes alive, Peter Wright must either win or get a draw. Tops now for Barney. That is a Rotterdam roof raiser! Welcome back to Rotterdam for the final night of league action. On stage at the moment, Raymond van Barneveld against Peter Wright. It's all level after the opening two legs, and this is now the third. slowed down there, didn't he? Seemed to try too hard to hit a 180 for the the audience. 140. This is better from both. Staring it down. 140. Well, even though he couldn't oblige with the crowd-pleasing, cacophony-raising maximum. He's still hit consecutive ton 40s here, Barney, to give himself 60. every chance now of an important break of throw. Well, how that second dart went in, I've no idea, because Barney did not grip it right at all. 
it, the flight seemed to do some kind of pirouette as he was re-gripping. So he's left one, two, one after nine darts. What can Peter Wright leave here? 62. Well, the last leg Van Barmelo took out 101 to level the match. This time, he's going to get at least a shot at Bull. Oh, well, he should have had at least a shot at Bull. I spoke too soon. He threw wildly at the big 11. Yeah, just slightly too aggressive, wasn't he? Went for the treble 11 instead of the big 11. Peter Wright wants 30, 32. There's the 30. As the booze come raining in, but he doesn't care. Peter Wright. Two one up for Peter Wright. This is a game he cannot afford to lose. They've played each other four previous times. As Barney just grips the dark rung again. That's twice in three shots now. Can only assume that that's nerves. Played each other four times, been two draws and a win each, and each match has gone to the very last leg. Well, that's been Barney's problem in the Premier League this year, isn't it? Too many 7-5 defeats. They're going to turn it, some of those into draws. And he wouldn't be turning up here at the Ahoy Arena in Rotterdam knowing that he couldn't qualify, still be in the mix, but too many narrow defeats have cost... The doyen of Dutch darts, dearly. RVB, the 2014 champ. 100. Not going to be his year this year, but can he sign off on a high? Needs to throw that little bit quicker, in my opinion. 140. Well, his last two legs from Raymond van Barneveld have been very good scoring-wise. Sloppy dart that took him out of finishing range in the last leg, but scoring, he started to find his range. 41. 180 here. Peter Wright just struggling. Just a tad, he, he looked the best player, or 16. the better player, for the part of the first two legs. Can Barney take out this three-figure score? He hit tops to take out 101. Can he hit tops again to take out 120? Yes, is the answer. Two legs all. Well, if Barney can give them anything, they will respond. If he gets in front, 100. well, they could well just carry him home to victory. So there's Adrian Lewis in the fourth of the qualifying spots with 17 points, and below him, Peter Wright on 16. So needs to get at least a point, and that would mean he'd be in the race. If he gets one point, he needs Lewis to get absolutely tonked by Gary Anderson. Yes. Yeah. Needs a tungsten tonking. Well, I don't know if Raymond thought that was ever going to reach the 60. He more or less stopped. He's trying so hard to hit a maximum. 59. Well, this is a chance again for Van Barneveld. He had a squeak of a break in leg three. Oh, and now... 26. An opportunity spurned. He played himself out of a rhythm with the last start of the previous throw. One hundred and twenty-three. Nearly, nearly the first max. Barney. I did say in the second or third leg, just releasing 22. them. Got to throw 150. with some force. You got to propel them in. 18 would leave double top here for the third three-figure finish of the match. Enjoy. And Wright squeezes Enjoy. it in Enjoy. to regain Enjoy. the lead. Enjoy. Following Enjoy. on from Barney's 101 Enjoy. out. 1-2-0 oh, check out. Now 1-1-5.
from old Snakey to go 3-2 in front. Well, Barney's had a couple well, of opportunities, hasn't he? And then at the business end of legs three and five, he just delivered nothing. Yeah, he's, he's after the first two legs, he's scored better than Peter Wright. But the finishing has been absolutely superb after the first leg. Three ton plus finishes and a 62. Well, Peter Wright took the best part of four seconds in deciding what to go for and ends up being a one. It's sometimes better to just go for the open target. Why make the game so much more difficult than it has to be? Peter Wright is second on the maximum list in the Premier League with a nifty 50. Not anything in that column tonight. Not in that column from Barney either. Barney on a finish after nine darts yet again. 60, you require 161. Will not go for the bullseye. Or he might do, actually. He might do. Go on, Raymond. Go on, Raymond. Ah. 136. Wow. He's thinking about the, the crowd, about the, the noise they're going to make when he has a, a great shot. Hence the, the way he just keeps Raymond taking his time 25. and too much time on the 180s and why he went for that bullseye. He had no need. No matter. Three each. And Barnabas levels the match for the third time. Three times Peter Wright has been the odd leg in front. Three times RVB has squared it up. Now, there's this, is this the chance for Van Barnabas? Is this the chance to pile in a biggie and take a vice like grip on this leg? This is the point where Adrian Lewis is in the players' room practicing, giving it. Come on, Raymond, do me a favour. If Peter Wright loses this match, Adrian Lewis will claim the full spot and appear at the O2 next week in London for the semi finals of the Premier League. 100. There, of course, all things become possible for the four protagonists. Doesn't really count for much what you've done over the uh, the previous weeks. 81. All 16 matches that will have been played will count for naught. Yep. To right. Maybe. He's going to get away with this. He's got to stop forcing it, though. He's just starting to throw the darts. Just that little bit hard, and he's losing his form. 83. See that last one, really giving it some, and that's not normally his style. 60. Well, right has left the Barnabell signature shot, and now so has Raymond himself. 56. Will he hoist Barnabell by his own petard? The petard shot, double 18. Whew. 128. Just Raymond slightly pulled. 56. That was some effort. Can Barney go a dart better? Another 60. 120. 156 is, is quite a difficult shot, and yet they're nearly made it look so, so simple. Double 14, double seven now. Well, the dart at double 14 was so wild, he's had to reload, but now he's hit the target. Full credit to him, because he was shaken out of his stride by how badly he missed his first intended target, and then was cool, wasn't he, to reload and recalibrate. Very cool indeed, yeah. 140. Barney, he had settled for a while. Legs three, four, five, and part of six. He looked likely 
the first maximum of this match goes to Peter Wright. Barney's on 2-6-1, but Peter, with another biggie here, could carve out a chance. Could it be another of the biggest? Oh, Adrian Lewis had that nine data. Earlier on in the Premier League. Barney's had a couple over the years. Oh, now, now the slip is coming from Van Barneveld, so he's had the chances to break. Remember, he missed that double 18 at the back end of the 156 attempt in the last leg to break. Now it's right. 64. With his big chance. Well, he's left the 156 again. Barney needs a treble. Finds one. 100. Here's your 156. The Dutch darting public trying to pick him up. Trying to pick RVB up. Well, he's had one of these already, the Shanghai finish, Barney. He's not going to have another. So will Peter Wright here get a dart to break? He's already had one of these as well. 57-18 tops. 60 for 36. See the aggression. Double 18. 17 on. Yes, Peter, it wasn't particularly close, was it? The pressure on, you can understand it. Top centre level again for the fourth. Oh, goodness me, double 15. What was going on there? <laughs> what was going on there? When you are so far away from a double, it can be off putting for the next, but I'm not saying that's the reason he missed, but. I can understand why Barney did miss the two at double 15. And he's getting closer. So important now. Adrian Lewis is in the practice room thinking, yes, Peter! Well, double 18 has been the key double in this match. It's been missed so many times. Oh, double 15 is becoming a problem. Too much of a problem. So in this leg, Barney's missed six for it, and Wright has missed four at this target. Clearly scared of going inside. Clearly worried about hitting a single 18. You've got to go for it, Peter. Be aggressive, man. The fear of leaving double nine. Well, it hardly mattered what happened. What he left after the third dart, did he? he had to go for it, as you said. There he goes. Welcome back to Rotterdam for our second match of the night. It's Van Barneveld against Wright. All level after eight legs. This is now the ninth. One hundred. Eight darts so far on double 18 in this match. Peter Wright, he yet to hit one. How oh, costly. 100. Barney also missed it to break, didn't he? The 156 attempt. They both had the 156 attempt. Barney missing double 18, one dart at it for a break in the seventh leg. Right, then missing a wrap at that same target for a break of his own, which would have made it 5 3. Well, credit to Peter Wright. He's not showing any signs of stress after that last leg. Because it's his second 180. Two in the last two legs. And it would have been easy to just kind of worry about what had just happened. But he's just ploughing on like the pro he is. Peter Wright needs the two points. One point. Tops now. One point would mean that 
Adrian Lewis would only need to win two legs off of Gary Anderson. So Peter Wright really does need the two points. 100. Well, this will Fortin. take him closer to that target. He wants tops. That's no he problem for Peter Wright. And for the play. fifth Peter time in this darts match, Peter Wright to is in front. Can Barney keep battling back? Is he the grinder tonight? Will he grind his way 100. to a draw or better? To win, of course, he's got to win three legs straight now, Barney. You can just feel with the, the audience here that they want to erupt, they want to use their voices, but Barney's just not giving them a lot to go on. There we see Peter Wright. He can get two more legs. Adrian Lewis will have it to do against Gary Anderson. 100. It really has seemed a grind this match though, isn't it? There's been not much flow to it. All the misstarts at doubles and there's been no breaks of throw whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And then in amongst all those misstarts at double, and there have been 24 of them, we've seen three three-figure out shots. He's singing about Vincent van der Voort, superb. One hundred. Well, Barney, 23 behind, less these. He, he seems to have lost a, a bit of zest, doesn't he? He's lost a bit of oomph. 82. Well, that last dart there was... Thoughtless. Well, that wasn't going to be quite as rude. Oh, but, come on. But he's left himself a bogey number. 16. When, it, when it's wrong, it's wrong. Lose 99. Back upstairs. Best he could do was leave a double. 60, 60, 38. No. So, Barney... For double 10. We see him getting a pickle on double 15 next door. Can be much more aggressive with this. Well, he hasn't been, has he? He's been the exact opposite. No he score. missed it in exactly the same style as he missed double 15. 64. Yes. So wary of going inside and leaving double five. As Peter Wright been given an opportunity he didn't expect. Huge start, double 16. Game Peter Wright is guaranteed a point. As he gives it some. Back to the 10,000 that don't Peter want him to win. Game Brave on. man. Adrian Lewis is now thinking, right, I'm going to have to pull something out of the fire against the world champion, against the Premier League 100. champion. If Peter Wright wins another leg, Adrian Lewis will need a draw minimum. 100. Correct. Makes it simple. And of course, if you've said to Adrian Lewis when we kicked 100. off in Leeds, you get a chance to draw or better in your final game, he probably would have had it. Yes. Yep. You want your position in your hands and it is for Adrian Lewis now but credit to Peter Wright there's been parts of this game that have been tough for him but he knows one, one more one. leg well Barney now with a couple of Heavy scoring visits has given himself a chance to break back and then throw for a draw. He's going to get at least a stab at this 121. Whatever Wright does. Just got to keep this one straight. 62. That is an absolute darting Ranger disaster. Even a straight dart leaves 120. 
You could not miss anything other than straight. Bullseye! Look at that! Another some plus finish. A 1-2-1, one, one, a 1-20, one, a 101. Highest finish of the match gives Barnabas a chance to throw for a draw. Peter Wright really here needs to break. 100. Otherwise, he's relying on Gary Anderson taking Adrian Lewis to the clean as 7 1 or 7 0. Well, after seeing that bullseye go in, if Adrian Lewis could physically 100. do cartwheels, I reckon he would be right now. Well, will level tons be enough and a 15 dart leg be enough for Barney? Or has Wright got a 12 dart or better in the locker against the throw? Oh, that really is quality. Peter needs two trebles. One will not really be enough. What a great dart. Oh, that, ladies and gents, is why Peter Wright is the fifth best player in the world right now, performing under such scrutiny. 60. Well, this is for a 12 dart leg against the throw to effectively stay in the Premier League. You can't ask for much better than that. Can't finish now. He's lost quite a lot of darts out to the, the right there, just pushing it a bit. I mentioned earlier he was throwing them too hard for him. 83. Oh my, this really would be a roof raiser. 60, 57, 24. Yes, 57. No. Far away, Wayne, was it? But it was far enough away. And Peter Wright then for a big, big Peter win. Wants double 19. Well, now he's going to get one dart at double eight. Oh, and is that the end of Peter Wright's Premier League dream with two missed darts at double? For an unlikely draw, has to be said, double eight. That is a draw. Peter Wright and Raymond van Barneveld draw six legs apiece. Peter had his chances. He now needs a real big favour off Gary Anderson if he's to book a place in the playoffs at the O2 next week in London. Gary Anderson's looking like the champion that he is. He's, uh... He's not the two-time and reigning world champ and Premier League champion for nothing. He's doing it when it counts, and that's what was missing for the first 15 years of his career, but not now. It's been a, a great night in terms of atmosphere. We haven't seen any great darts yet. Will we see it here? Let's hope so. I, I just think that these two will drag each other along, play quick and enjoy it. Rod Harrington, Stuart Pike, your commentators. Well, we'll enjoy it, that's for sure, as Gary Anderson sparks us with a 180 with his first visit to the hockey. Looks like being the top four in the world, doesn't it? Van Gerwen, Anderson, Taylor and Lewis, after all the darts thrown in this Premier League, who reach the 0-2 and final tonight, just to reiterate. Two legs will do it for Adrian Lewis. Yes, but the problem is, Stu, he just doesn't want to go up in this game and think, well, two legs, I'll get two legs. And then all of a sudden he may go 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, and then the pressure will be on Lewis. Wants to get him in the first four legs. Get those two in the first four legs. And then you can sit back and just let it flow. And let's not forget, Stu, all the talk's been about Phil and Michael. I mean, what an incredible game coming up, who heads the league. 
But both these players are well capable of winning this Premier League this year. Reigning champion is Gary Anderson. Well, it's still all right, Adrian. Single 14, 20. 34. Gary Will really he get another shot at tops? Anderson, 1-3-5. Yeah, well he will. Anderson started in a in a blaze of glory with 180. Not a lot since from the world champ. Good dart, good dart. One down, one to go for Adrian Lewis to clinch his place in the playoffs. Yep, eases the pressure for Adrian Lewis a little bit. Eighty-three. Would you know? Lewis here looking to reach the playoffs for the first time, would you believe, since 2011, Rod, when he lost to Gary Anderson 16. in the Premier League final. Adrian Lewis's Premier League record, by his own admission, not good enough. Two semi finals in eight attempts 2008, 2011. But this looks like being a third. 61. Yes, on the road for 15, 16 nights does not really suit AD. Especially when you've got tournaments 37. most weekends after the Thursday night, but that's what professionalism is all about. As AD fires in, wow, oh, another dart sweet. on the floor, a deflection off the flights. The chance here for Anderson to level it up. Just wants to set on this, set this up, hit one treble, which he's done. I've caught in two minds there, Anderson. Looking at possibly treble 18, changed his mind, but on a finish to make it one apiece. Gary Anderson will finish third, whatever happens. Well, that's another stray one, isn't it? Well, that's two stray darts from 84. He hasn't even left a one dart finish rod. Oh, but he's going to get two darts Gary and the double, Rickard. eight, four, double top to level it up, and level it up, he does. Welcome back to an amazing night here in Rotterdam. 10,000 fans and the third clash of the night. Gary Anderson against Adrian Lewis. Lewis needs just one more leg to qualify. This is now the third. A girl against Taylor still to come. Peter Wright needed a win against Raymond Van Barneveld to pile the pressure on Adrian Lewis. He was 6-4 up. He missed two match darts to win 7-5, and Barney pinched the draw, which means that Peter Wright is all but out of it. One more leg for Adrian Lewis to guarantee his spot in the semi-finals. Yes, Peter Wright will be kicking himself. He had darts to win other legs, and certainly that last leg to win 7-5. 83. He didn't take the chance. It sets it up for Lewis. As we said, the top four players will be in the world will be at the 0-2. If Lewis can just get one more leg. Well, out and then it really does set it up. Next week, Thursday night, live on Sky Sports. What an evening. Well, However, this evening is not finished. Coming up about after these two. 171 from Lewis. But will he get a shot? Well, it was heart in bout time for Lewis. This to secure his spot in the Premier League semi finals. Adrian Lewis will finish fourth. But who will Gary Anderson and Adrian Lewis be facing in those semi finals? A point for Michael Van Gerwen against Phil Taylor means he will finish top and take on Adrian Lewis. And it will be Taylor against Anderson. But if Taylor can win, Taylor will play Lewis and Van Gerwen will play Anderson as the world champ bangs in his second 180. Well, to be brutally honest, Stuart, they'd want to play Phil Taylor at the moment and not Michael. That's the way it is. Well, 
Anderson reached the quarter-finals of a big European tour event in Gibraltar at the weekend, was disappointed not to go further. Wow. The first one, 80 for Adrian Lewis. Treble 10 would be the shot to leave tops. 45. Oh, Lewis is going to need at least two handfuls of darts to go out for a 179, so Anderson's going to come back for the double top. 78. Level it up, two legs apiece. Straight in the middle with the first dart from Gary Anderson. And for me, if you, if you look at the stats, Stuart, with the ability that Aidy's got, I don't think he's hit enough 180s in his campaign in the Premier League. Next week, he's going to have to hit more 180s. If he's going to win the Premier League, he needs to up that score. Yeah, well. One tons and the odd 140, they're not good enough. Interesting, Rob, because you could say the same for Gary Anderson. There it is. Anderson will finish third, Lewis will finish fourth. Who will finish one and two? We'll find out within the hour as Van Gerwen plays Taylor. Peter Wright misses out. Yeah, Lewis 42 180s, but Anderson's only hit 43. And he's been lacking in that as well, but it's been a really good run from Gary Anderson. He's lost only three of his 15 games. With the talent of these two, you would have thought they'd both be up there with the most 180s and double 10. Yeah, ten. Double ten. Right on, 27. Well, he's going to have another visit because Anderson cannot go out. He set it up. He wants another trail. Well, that'll put the pressure on. Uh, double five. Just put it above the double if you're not going to hit it. That's what I was scared of. The low dart now, the double two for a big man. Well, prove me wrong. I did, AD Lewis. All five legs have been won on throw. Anderson has won the last four against Adrian Lewis in the Premier League. But who is going to win the league stage? Who's going to finish top of the pile? A draw for Van Gerwen sees him finish top. Taylor has to win. 10,000 here in Rotterdam, waiting for the main event. Well, here's a chance to steal a mark. Do you think Van Gogh will be relaxed, or will he go up there, you know, so determined to, to beat Phil Taylor in front of this magnificent crowd? Will he tighten up in the early legs if well, he does? The silence, just look at Adrian Lewis, that's another dart on the floor. The sign would be if he's tightened up is the first dart will go lower the treble. And if that happens, Phil Taylor has got to punish him. Well, there's bound to be pressure, Rob, that's for sure. I mean, it's interesting, Raymond Van Barneveld, with all his experience, admitting that the crowd and the occasion even got to him as he was walking onto the stage in his draw with Peter Wright. Lewis here, poised perfectly to break the Anderson throw. But a frustration for the world champ. One on right on 22, only require 20. Oh, chasing up to the fives. Last dart in his hand to break the throw of Anderson. And the third dart goes in the double five and he takes a two leg lead. 4-2. Adrian Lewis. And a win not matter on the position that he's in the league, he will stay in fourth place. Well, I'm right on 40. We're both averaging around 97. That sixth leg well, all I'm important. Right See so what Anderson can do from here. Significantly, you know, Adrian Lewis has lost all five matches in this Premier League well, right against 31. the players in the top four. Hasn't beaten Van Gerwen, Taylor or Anderson in the league stage. Will this be the night or will this be the moment? Well, it'll be a nice uh, time leading into the 0-2 to beat Gary Anderson with an extra confidence. 41. Yeah. Anger from Lewis opens the door for Anderson, but that's a poor lie for the world champ. We'll have to switch. 59. Three disappointed darts. Getting a touch frustrated, Gary Anderson. Again, 
again, Lewis sets it up perfectly. Well, the big, second biggest checkout on the board. And Gary Anderson's not going to get close. How do you require 52? Tops for Adrian Lewis, and that's a perfect guy. Surely he'll find the double top. Gary, you require a little bit of hand explanation there. A little bit of draft, he's saying. The dart's not flying straight. But double 14 for Gary Anderson, and another dart goes wasted. Awkward. Which makes that sensational. He used the barrel. It, it, was, it was probably half an inch off target, but it clipped the barrel and went in. That takes some doing. Great dart from Lewis. Well, they complain about a deflection that goes out of the treble or out of the double. That one came to the aid of Aidy because, like you said, it was a good half inch away. It's caught the barrel and just clipped in. He's, he's shuddering away to himself, Adrian Lewis. He's, he's pulling some strange old faces as well. But he's winning 5-2. He's clinched a place in the semi-finals of the Premier League for only the third time. Anderson will finish third. Lewis will finish fourth. But who will they put, who will they play? Uh, question. The big question. The answer coming up a little later. Unlucky bounce out. One seventy for Anderson. We'll go for the ball anyway to leave tops. The trouble's nineteen. Oh, just on the wire. So Anderson's coming back. Tony and Leg with throw. Well, you could see how far that was off. 20. It's actually hit the O of the 10. Very you can see the mark. 56. That's a long way off from Anderson. Is it any closer for Adrian Lewis? Yes, it is. Straight in the middle. Another break of throw for Adrian Lewis. And he's got at least a point from this game. Anderson below par. But, you know, from, from Anderson's point of view, he'll go play a, a European Tour event this weekend, but don't you worry. Come the 0-2 next Thursday, he'll be ready. He will be a real threat as he bids to defend his Premier League title and win it for a, a third time. Well, you can see that dart, Stuart, smashed the top of the flight of Adrian Lewis's dart. Really has taken a chunk out of it as well. Yep. Right, Anderson off at your peril. He won't mind who he plays. I'm sure the same could be said for Lewis. It's been a, it's been a long haul, hasn't it? Four months, the length and breadth of the UK in this history-making night in Holland. 93. As we mentioned, after all the darts that have been thrown, over 15 weeks, we're left with the world's top four. Appropriate, we started the Premier League with the world's top ten. We're going to end with the best four players in the world. 96. Yes, it doesn't get any better. 10,000 will be in the O2 next week. Gary, you require I'm not saying they're all going to be dressed in orange, but certainly they'll be as noisy. And double sir, four. Double four. Well, that was to stay in it. Two out of nine on the doubles for the world champion. Tops for Lewis. Double ten to win it. Oh, clinical from Adrian Lewis. It's five legs on the spin. Job done, Adrian Lewis finishes fourth, Gary Anderson will finish third, Lewis a convincing 7-2 winner, they are heading to the 0-2, but who will they be playing? The main event is on the way, as Michael Van Gerwen and Phil Taylor clash for top spot here in Rotterdam.
Winner finishes top of the league. Lost the 24 you. points apiece. All to play for. Wayne Martin and Rod Studio commentators. Wow. A breathtaking reception. Adulation that few sportsmen can even dream of receiving. Greeting Michael Van Gerwen in his decade plus of throwing darts. He can never have heard anything quite like it. And Phil Taylor the top of the darting tree for more than a quarter of a century can scarcely have heard anything like it and what a start what a start it cannot get any louder it cannot get any better for mighty michael van gerwen wow wayne wow what a pleasure and a privilege to be in and amongst it the, the composure that michael just showed was utterly incredible you have to be so strong of mind to get up there and actually Breathe, take it in and continue to do what you do. Phil Taylor has had a dodgy start. We do not want to let Michael Van Gerwen get the jump on you. That 180 from Michael to start will have definitely eased those nerves. And Phil is yet to settle. Nine darts thrown, 45 left. Starting like a bullet from a gun, Van Gerwen, just as he did when they met in the previous meeting in the Premier League, as Taylor hits back with a maximum. 11 dart leg here, Wayne. Wow, could he lose the leg from here? Could he lose the leg? That was important. If Phil Taylor can somehow manage to not lose the leg... Well, the crowd are playing their part now. Tops, tops. Jeering at the missed doubles from Phil. This is their man. And he wants double eight. Fluffed his lines. Two maximums in the leg from Van Gerwen, but five missed darts at double as Phil Taylor looks to salvage it on tops. Phil Taylor knows that that is a psychological blow. He knows that Michael will be bitterly disappointed. He'll be annoyed. Phil will be thinking, right, you look like you had all the composure in the world, but you clearly didn't. It was a hold and throw by Phil Taylor, but as you rightly point out, Wayne, it'll feel like much more than that to the power. The, the darts that Michael threw for the double eight and double four, they were as poor as you see Michael throw at, dart, throw at doubles. They were too quick, erratic. When they met in Glasgow, Van Gerwen went 5-1 up and it looked all but over. Taylor rallied, but Van Gerwen still missed three darts at double 18 90. to win by uh, seven legs to four. The power salvaged a share of the spoils and celebrated to some tune. Michael Van Gerwen this year has played in 20 events and he's won nine of those. That's how dominant he's been. Phil Taylor has only played in 13 and he's won one. That's kind of unheard of going into the latter part of May. 140. From Phil Taylor, normally much more successful than that. Well, another treble here. Would have put him in reasonable shape to pounce. Well, that's why going for the ball isn't the brightest, but Tops gets him out of trouble. One apiece. Almost paid a price there, Wayne, didn't he, for going a route that you loathe? Yeah, yeah. Bullseyes are disgusting, Wayne. It's not just poor, it's horrible. You have to be the quality of Van Gerwen to get yourself out of trouble. And let's be honest, there's hardly any. Well, they play for such mega money these days. But this match alone, these 12 legs maximum, literally worth £25,000. 
Werner finishes top of the pile, getting that bonus this year and richly deserved after 16 round robin matches. Van Gerwen, a win or a draw would be enough to trouser that monstrous amount. Phil Taylor must win to top the pile. Yeah. If Van Gerwen doesn't lose, he will finish top for the fourth year running. But he made a real good point last week, Michael Van Gerwen. He's topped the table for the last three years, but he's only won the Premier League title once. Good darts from Michael Van Gerwen to leave the shot. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, Wayne, won him the Premier League title against Phil Taylor. 1-3-2. I've, no, I've no need to correct you. Well, he may not even go the ball route. Well, he is. Had no need. 52. Well, he's made a bit of a mess of it. Five missed darts at double to break the Taylor throw in leg one. We'll get... 43. Well, we'll get... Five, four or five more here, because Taylor hasn't left to finish. 20, the single, for the double thereof. For a break in the lead. And they love it. They love him. As we speak, Michael Van Gerwen is out playing Phil Taylor to some tune. Should have won the first leg, or could have. Everyone a look on it. Then took out 19, then 80. Phil Taylor is averaging 84. Michael Van Gerwen is averaging 99. Phil Taylor needs to improve very, very quickly. Otherwise, he could find himself 4 5 1 down. 140. Well, we already know that Gary Anderson, we knew that before tonight, is through to the semi finals. We now know that Adrian Lewis will join the party at the O2 Arena in the Docklands. The winner of the table will play Adrian Lewis. And the runner up will play Gary Anderson. So at this moment in time, it looks like Van Gerwen Lewis and Taylor Anderson. That's a tasty menu. Taylor. 96. Really lacking the composure that you would have expected. Michael Van Gerwen has beaten Phil Taylor more than any other man in the history of darts 20 times. Well, let's see what he does this time. Will he go bull this time? I think he probably will. Well, they've got time to find 50. Oh, well, now that leaves a double. That leaves double 10. Single would have left bull. It was a big moment. Real big moment in this match. The crowd trying to play their part again. Can the, plow, the power block them out? Look at that for a reaction. Welcome back to Rotterdam for the final match of the night. Phil Taylor against Michael Van Gerwen. It's all level after the opening four legs, and this is now the fifth. Knew what was coming from the, uh, the crowd, the partisan crowd. You wouldn't call it hostile, would you? They, they're a proper darts crowd. They've come to enjoy the darts. It's, it's pantomime stuff. They're behind their man, and they're going to boo the opponent but I don't think it's any more than that is it Wayne it's not the respect that they showed Phil Taylor on the walk on was was a joy it was good to see and you're 100% right Rod there's there's no nastiness at all there's they're not malicious in any way they're supporting their man 96. it is only one away game 100 for Phil Taylor and Co. Van Gerwen. He's got to play away. 
every week, hasn't he, on the on the tour, pretty much. So too Barney. They love him everywhere. All over the darting Ooh, globe. Well, this is good from Phil Taylor now. Remember, he was 2-1 down. Rallied with that break. And now looking to go in front. Yeah, it's been a bit of a nervy night, hasn't it? You can try too hard to please the people that are watching. And I think we saw that from Barney, he actually he alluded to it. I was disappointed not to at any 180s and the way I played. Sometimes you have to play Here like it means nothing when it means everything. That's what these two have done so often. 60, 20, 32. There's the 60. Was going to go for the 12, but decided to switch back for the 20. 32. Indecision from the power. Another there would make the power quiver. Well, it was wild at the double 19, but Phil Taylor's heart must have skipped a beat. Double four. Double two now. That is pure quality. The pressure on that. Remember, Phil Taylor needs to win this match to top the table. If he does, he will play Adrian Lewis at the 0-2 next week. If he doesn't win, he will play Gary Anderson. That opportunity from Michael Van Gerwen has been and gone. The 158. Will that prove crucial? 97. It is something of a holy grail for Phil Taylor, a win in a big tournament against Michael Van Gerwen. He missed darts. Who was uh, Robin Hoodshot from Van Gerwen? He missed darts to beat Van Gerwen at the Masters. He had him on the ropes in the final of the Grand Slam in November, but couldn't finish him off. 60. Well, see the way he feels. Darts went in second and third there. They were odd. 100. Yeah, as you said, Rod, he's, Phil Taylor's not finished Michael off when he, he could have. It's been hard for him. It has. And the more often he hasn't been able to do it, the more it will play on his mind, you would think. His greatest win over Van Gogh, when you would say, the 63. World Championship final of 2013. That was a brilliant performance from... Four sets to two behind, it really was special. And I think the sweetest of all 16 of his world titles. But here Van Gerwen, after a dozen darts, leaves double 18 to level up again. Michael Van Gerwen, in the seven matches that he's played against Phil in the Premier League, has only lost once. Phil will know that. For 3-3. Three, three. That is the equaliser. Just to stress, Van Gerwen would be in pole position if he draws the match. Share of the spoils enough, Phil Taylor must win to finish top of the pile and pick up the 25 grand bonus money. That would give him a tie against Adrian Jackpot Lewis. Oh, Michael looking for a third, comes down. 139. Well, that's the first time in this match that Phil Taylor has taken his time over that first dart. 140. And it's one of only, only few occasions that he hit the requisite treble. I think Michael's got him at it here. I think Michael is actually playing at a pace he likes, and Phil is somewhat going along with it. I think he's realised that he's got to slow down a tad. Super darts from Phil Taylor, and this is the highest quality patch of the match here now from both players. 65, who you require 140. Yet to see a ton plus finish. Van Gerwen did miss double 19 for a 158. 122, well, 157. It was a good recovery, not sure he wanted to leave what he did. 
83. But when you're as good as Phil Taylor, 18. a double's a double, right? Oh, yes. Double is a double, and Phil Taylor leads again at 4-3, and now it's getting hot up there. And Van Gerwen is turning the temperature up to the max. The pressure on Michael Van Gerwen really is hotting up. He knows that every time he goes one behind, any break of throw, and that could be it. But he started this leg with a maximum. Well, Phil Taylor here in this match being cast Easy. in the role of scrapper and battler. Van Gerwen is 12 points up on the averages here. So often in the past we've seen Taylor dominate, bully, dismantle players. He's having to play completely the opposite role here, isn't he? He is. He's relying on Michael Van Gerwen missing doubles. Because if Michael wasn't, he would be in all sorts of bother. Sixty-four. Fifty-seven, fifty-seven. There's one. Oh, adrenaline, Philip. Adrenaline. Ah, but he's done enough to put the pressure on this sixty. Which isn't quite as regulation as you might think, particularly if you don't get the first dart where you want it. Tops. Tops. Oh, well, that's a blistering dart because he really had made life awkward for himself. He'd cut off plenty of the bed. And last dart in hand, double top, levels the match at four apiece. And it's everything you'd expect to the clash of the Tungsten Titans. My God, he was under pressure there. If I was under that pressure and you asked me my name, I'd have to think about it for a long, long time, let alone hit tops with a last dart. That was incredible. And... The reaction from Michael Van Gerwen kind of said it all. It was relief, pure relief. Well, now a draw becoming more and more likely. There's the table as it stands. Lewis fourth for sure, Anderson third for sure. Who will finish top? Phil Taylor is hanging on. He's holding on here. Two trebles in this visit, and Phil Taylor is in all sorts of bother. 100. Well, Taylor knows that one treble really isn't enough. He's got to start hitting two every visit, otherwise the green machine could well get the better of him. 100. Not enough. Van Gerwen has led once in the match when he broke in the third leg to lead 2-1. Taylor levelled up with a break of his own in the very next leg, but now, but now the throw of Phil Taylor is under severe pressure. He's got it. Oh, got to hit two trebles, he might hit three. 140. Hanging on again, Wayne, he's given himself a chance, but it is hanging on, isn't he? Yeah. 54. Bullseye! Oh, Michael Van Gerwen! If you are going to break throw, why not break it with a Rotterdam roof razor? That is what they have come to see. That is what he can do when it matters most. 96. And when he really announced himself on the scene in the Grand Slam of Darts 2012, when he destroyed Taylor in the last 16, it was a big bullseye finish, a 130 in the meat of the match that broke the power's resistance. And I wonder, Wayne, has that 164 done a similar thing tonight here in Rotterdam. Winning matches, titles isn't easy. 96. Michael Van Gerwen's first major title in the PDC was against Mervyn King in the Grand Prix, and he took out 145. There was no finishing line nerves for him. He sees an opportunity and he goes and gets it. 60. That 164 seems, just seems to have broken Taylor's resolve. One more leg. 
Will mean Van Gerwen picks up a point, and that is the point he needs. He craves to ensure he will finish top for the fourth straight year in the Premier League. It may well be a scene setter for a final between these two great players at the O2. 96. A week tonight. Well, if it is, Phil Taylor will have to play better than this. The averages are only a guide, we know that. Uh, how about that? How about that? Well, that 177 from Phil Taylor gives him a chance to break straight back just as he did in the fourth leg of the match. He ain't finished yet, you know. 20. The biggest start of the Premier League so far. 60. And Phil Taylor pulled it. To guarantee top spot in the Premier League. 16 weeks have culminated in this start at tops. 36. Well, Michael 20. was insinuating that he was slightly nervous. It's fair enough. Well, the smile arrived quickly and has left Phil Taylor's face just as quickly. He's here for business. Looking for his win. Five each. Van Gerwen had two darts there to secure at least... <laughs> Come on, give me a break! And they respond in... in good voice. Yeah, they're enjoying it more than Michael, I think. I just don't think he wants to get involved. Michael Van Gerwen wants to get on with this, as Phil Taylor is playing to the crowd. There's nothing wrong with what he's doing, there's no gamesmanship. Just making himself feel at ease. Knowing that he dodged a bullet there. Well, he dodged two, actually. Well, in some ways, and Phil Taylor and his fans wouldn't agree with this, obviously, but in some ways, a draw tees it up perfectly because it leaves the question unanswered going into finals night. Who is the best at the moment? And Gary Anderson and Adrian Lewis have got a say in that. It teases us again, doesn't it? If it's a draw, but he's going to have to throw better numbers than that yeah. to secure a draw. Like I said, the averages are only a guide, but they're starting to tell. The man in green is averaging 100, Phil Taylor 92, and he really has dug in all the way through this. He somehow managed to escape, and after ten legs, they are all level. Punishing. 140. Well, to put him within touching distance of that precious point once more, Van Gerwen. Well, the crowd now are jeering and cheering every single dart. This is so reminiscent of the previous leg when Phil Taylor was on 257. Just missing the last treble there. Four, the point. Back up for the 60 to leave 24. Well, that's only 64 left. Well, this is to go back into the lead. He's going to have to find treble 18. Can't do so, so Van Gerwen here. All things being equal, we'll get at least one more dart to secure that point. Can you, Michael? Double eight. Double four. Michael Van Gerwen now's double four. That is the 64 finish. That secures top spot for the fourth time. Will he go on to win? Or will it be, as you quite rightly say, Rod, a draw? And answer no questions. That's how you ram it home. Savage darts. As Phil Taylor counter attacks. Oh, could he finish? Could he do it? Yes, Michael! He missed double 12 for a nine dart leg last week. 
Has he saved the best to the very last in the 2016 Premier League? Could this be the moment? 60. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That would have been just asking a bit too much, wouldn't it? It quite literally would have been the perfect end to a wonderfully entertaining evening in Rotterdam. And Phil Taylor, if that is to be his parting shot, ends with a max for the match. Van Gerwen, double 16, to beat his great rival. And go into the 0-2, off the back of a win, a table-topping win for mighty Michael Van Gerwen. Phil Taylor battled away. But in the end, he has to give best to the world number one and the favourite for the Premier League, who goes to the O2 next week as the table topper. And boy, we're in for some entertainment on finals night. Van Gerwen, top of the pile.